we are back for episode two of the new FIFA Youth to Gold series. Let's catch you up. Since you were last with me, that difficult penalty shootout loss to Sheffield Wednesday in the Cup. We then went to Rockdale and we lost 2-0. to zero. I do like the tactic, but it did start off rough. Then we went to Walsall and we won 2-1. to one. Frost won a near post header for our first league goal of the season. We then went and drew 1-1 to Sutton United. It was a close game, but we did only come away with the draw. Then we went to Tranmere Rovers, or maybe we were home. I'm not exactly sure, but against Tranmere Rovers, we won 3-1. to one. So it was a great way to start the season, and let's check out where that leaves us on the table. Currently, we sit 7th. I had a Newport, Northampton, Colchester. We've started a lot better. Those two wins got the six points on the board with the two draws. We've only lost once. Our defending is so much better. The way that the center backs step up into the defense, um, it just feels a lot better. We're winning the ball back, and we're playing well. So I'm excited to show you guys the next on-camera game. Looking up the table, we have Bradford City, Harrogate, Exeter, Carlisle, and Salford, and Stevenage at the top. And... They're only five points ahead of us, so they're catchable for sure. But I think we're going to be pushing for the playoff positions, three through seven, and see what we can get. And then hopefully we can get an automatic promotion spot next season or get promoted that way. So we'll have to, we'll have to uh, see how the season goes. Now, we did also sell low off camera. He brought in a lot of money. I think it was $1.1 million. Uh, dollars to the club so we went ahead and we bought Victor Malkin and sent him out to Columbia scouting any type of player for nine months to start bringing in more of those youth prospects in other news Larson has also finished his move to central attacking mid he went up to a 54 um, I think he was a 51 before um, so not a huge jump but it's definitely going to be our backup to Dobson in the center of the park right here um, and honestly going to be pushing to replace him shortly because he's so young and again we want to develop our young guys so I made a little bit of a boo-boo I got excited and opened the scouting report without realizing that I wasn't recording. So it came back with nothing. It was just the United States scouting report and Columbia will come back next month with the United States. But the United States one had no one on it. The most valued person was this guy, 200,000 pounds or dollars, sorry. And he had good potential. Now, the reason I signed him was his size. He's 6'1 and his pace. He's really, really fast. He's not a center back or center defensive mid. He has 22 defending. But check this out. At 37, if I put him in center mid, he goes up 10. So he would be a 47. Center back, he can't play there. Wing back, he could play. But anyways, center attacking mid, he goes up plus 15, which would be a 52. The right wing, he goes up to a 54 and literally becomes one of our backup right wingers. Smith the right winger um, down here that you guys can't see. Uh, he is gonna probably move to be our backup left winger. That way we have two left wingers, two right wingers. We have rotation. People won't get too tired, but I took a shot on him and it worked out. That's what I didn't show you guys cause I forgot. I was from recording the last episode and I opened it and I said crud. Um, anyways, that was all we got. So you ho hopefully you know that I wasn't cheating by resetting saves because I signed a 37 <laughs> overall. And yes, he's going to develop or really become a 54 overall once he changes positions, which is crazy. But that was just pure luck. And it's why sometimes I take chances on lower valued players just to maybe see if they could be something for us and see if maybe we could use them. So I'm excited to get him in. Now, Carlisle currently sit third in the league. So I'm going to get forward off camera for you guys and i'm going to come back and bring you back for that carlisle game and hopefully give you guys our first win on camera i think i'm going to start calling it our first uh tv game or game on tv because they seem to be really really shy and, and um don't perform as well as i know they can when you guys are watching or maybe it's just me who knows but i'll bring you back for that carlisle game play the other ones off camera i'll see you in a minute so change of plans we're going to be taking on exeter they're currently top of the league we're sitting in seventh. We just won that game against Northampton, and I'm going to show you guys a goal on that um, right now. Oh, my gosh. I have to show you all that. I have to. That's why I'm bringing you back. Yeah, wild goal. I was over the moon. It was really cool. <laughs> Anyways... We are seventh with 11 points. Exeter City are, are um, in first with 14 points. If we win, 
we essentially can be level on points with them and maybe move into the top four depending on who else wins. But we're going to take them on right quick and hopefully get you guys our first win on camera. This is the squad we're going with. Smith in goal, the Youth Academy guy. Rice on the left, Chapman and Poole, the center back pairing. Curry on the right. Wing back position, Bernard and Robson in the center of the park. Schaefer, our other Youth Academy signing. On the left wing, Dobson, center attacking mid, Matheson on the right wing, and Frost is up top as striker. I brought Sullivan on, our um, guy that sucks, to play the right wing last game, and he looked pretty good. Uh, Larson came on as well, and I think got an assist for that goal that you guys saw. And Mercer came in just to help tidy up the defense and give us some energy on the field. So, let's dive in. Alrighty, we are home again. I gotta remember to change the uh, kits because it doesn't automatically, which is weird. So we've been playing really well. Our defenses look great. We've let up a goal, I think, in the last two league games. But we've had a couple clean sheets as well. Oh, that was a beautiful build up. Couldn't get the finish. I almost missed a chance too. Let's whip this cross in, see if we can get someone on the end of it. Get up. I uh, got up, but poor header. Take the kick. Let's see if we can win it back and hit him on a counter. We do win it back. We got Matheson, Matheson sorry, down the right. Oh, that's a bad pass. We win it back. When people press me, I've been struggling. Ah, I got to work on the precision dribbling in those moments. I just get freaked out. We win the ball back there with that header. Somebody go. Get over. Good idea. Didn't quite come off how we wanted. We got Bernard pressing. Playing defense. Let's hope they don't hit us on a counter here. And great defense from Bernard. He is really good. That's going to be their throw. Now let's push. Go, Dobson. Go, Dobson. Go, Dobson. All right, all right. We had a first chance of the game that looked really good with Dobson, and we did not make the most of it. it well, we did have a good shot, but it was just blocked. Great win. See, the defense is just feeling better. Maybe that's me getting better at the game, and then I do things like that. Oh, no. But i got to remember to do that skilled. There's like a precision dribbling. I think it's L1 or R1, one of the bumpers. And um, it is very nice. What a great move by him. We get the ball off him. Way to pick it up, keeper. All right, they're attacking us here. Got to play good defense. They have looked the better team so far. But get up. Get up. Good stop. Now let's hit him down a wing. Come on. Go, striker. Frost. He's icy. Okay, so it's going to be a corner at least. Our attack hasn't looked very good. They, they've they set up in a way that it's not feeling like we're getting a lot of opportunities. It's another corner. I probably shouldn't have shot that there, but... Oh, wow. The way that they just did that to Rice was embarrassing. Get back, pool. Robson, our center, de not defensive mule, but he's a center midfielder. Ah, I thought he was going to make that run, and he stopped. I feel like that happens at least once a game. <laughs> but we're playing well. We're had a couple scary moments on defense. What a pass. But overall, I would say we're playing very well. And there we go. This is it. What? That counts as an offside? We won the ball back. It wasn't a pass. Oh, Man, that hurts. It changed me to the wrong defender. Couldn't figure out where I was. They're in our zone here. And I let him inside. Great save by the keeper. Whew. Defending this corner. And get up, goalkeeper. And that is halftime. Pretty even first half. We had a couple chances, didn't take them. They had a couple chances, didn't take them. So hopefully we can get out of here with a draw. Hopefully, really hopefully a win, but I'll take a draw. So the second half begins. Hopefully we can string something together. I just got to work on...
control in dribbling and possession and stuff. Because when we play good teams like this, I seem to be able to unable, or I seem to be unable, sorry, English is hard, to hold on to the ball like that. I just, I try to do the little skill, or not, the, whatever, the little possession thing I'm talking about. I don't know what it's called. Oh, right at the keeper. Beautiful build-up play. And we want it back early. I need someone else to make a run. Not big guy there. And there we go, baby. No offsides. First goal on camera, on telev television. <laughs> I get so excited. I don't know what to say when we score goals. Yes. Let's go. Wasn't the prettiest, but we got it. I got Bernard to hold the ball up, and he found that run in by Frost with the defender on his back and slots at home. Let's go, baby. Now, one thing I do wish was in FIFA, if they had a live update of the table, that would be really cool. But we will check that out after this game. Now, I will say we have gone ahead in every single game we've played and we've always let the team get back in it. And, oh my gosh, I am bad. I am bad. I'm still bad. I'm still bad. Oh, thank you for the foul. Oh man, y'all would have been eating me alive if I would have... <laughs> if that's how I would have let it happen. Great attack. Great push through by our winger but couldn't get the pass off this is so bad this is so bad our goalkeeper thank the lord we have a goalkeeper who can play well because your boy e is putting him in ter <clears throat> terrible positions not helping him out at all we got curry down the wing i'm gonna go back post for schaefer and that was not even close to back post but it felt good to say it <laughs> we are bringing in three subs Sullivan on the right the 37 overall but with the plus 18 he is a 55 Larson in the middle and Mercer at center defensive mid technically that's our defensive slot he has a higher defensive work rate at medium so we're bringing him in for some freshness to run around in that midfield break up some attacking um, plays from them and try and hold on for this win Curry down the wing here and let's see if we can get someone in Oh, great shot. He doesn't get there. Mercer can't win the ball. But beautiful shot. Unfortunately, didn't go in. But we are close to the dying embers. Let's see how much extra time it actually gives them. It says plus two. In our last game on the last episode against Sheffield Wednesday, y'all saw they were supposed to have plus two, and I think it gave them four minutes, and they equalized. But we just cut that out. This should be the end of the game for our first win on TV. Let's go. Oh, that was against the top of the league. They were a good team. That was a hard-fought win at 1-0. Man, what a game. Really quick before we skip forward, we did win that game against Northampton 3-1. Y'all saw that goal that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. And uh, we have won two in a row. Maybe three in a row. Three on the bounce. We haven't lost in our last five league games. We have four wins, one draw. So, Really, really starting out well, and I'm excited to keep climbing up. Be back soon. We moved Schaefer from a striker to a left winger. We just completed it. He was a 57 overall, I think, and he switched up to a 63, which is a great start. We're going to put him on inverted winger. I know it keeps getting his sprint speed up, which is fine, but it gets his shooting up, and I think that's the best play um, for us at this point, and it'll get his weak foot up as well, which is going to be huge to be able to use him wherever we need to on the attack. When I come back, we will have the Youth Academy report, which we won't really have because it's empty. We'll also have the next youth intake from Columbia and the United States. So hopefully we get another player or two in that, and y'all can see them play in the next game on camera. So let's get forward, and let's get rolling, and I will be back shortly. This is why I'm playing the young guys and not these older guys because he's one of our best players, Wade. He was our striker who was the starter when we got here. Really good player, honestly, for our level. Would really help us out, but he's done developing. I just got an email. That he's no longer developing. He's a 69 overall at age 27. If I can keep him here and happy, I'm happy to have him as a backup until I get someone else to be my backup. But 
that's exactly why we're not using them because we're going to get these young guys up and running and developing. And by the time we get up into EFL League 2, EFL League 1, the championship, we'll have a good solid squad if we play those young guys early and often, no matter how painful it might be. Here we have Sullivan. He's completed his move to right winger. So let's do it and see how much he goes up. He goes up to a 55. So the idea with him is I would... Vince, you probably heard that. Sorry, my dog was talking to me. The idea with him is to move him to a striker, which would take 119 weeks. So that's probably because his shooting is so low. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on inverted winger. He's 6'1 and fast. So if I can get him to be a striker, I think it would be huge. So we're going to do inverted winger, get his shooting up so that he switches over to a striker easier. And I hope that that does the trick. His passing is not that great, but I want him to be able to score for us. So let's get him started there. Since you were last with me, that 1-0 win against Exeter City, we then went to Carlisle and beat them 2-0. And then we had Port Vale at home and we beat them 2-1. Carlisle, I think, was 5th in the league at the time. And Port Vale was, I think, 19th when we played them. But that is 4 wins, 5 wins on the bounce. And we have only drop points in 1 game out of our last 7. That is really good. So, without further ado, let's get into those youth scouting reports. All right, guys, we have Hugo Osorio right here. He is left-footed in a $500,000 overall value. I think he's a left-back. I'm going to sign him because we don't really have a backup left-back. We'll see how it goes, and we'll take a chance on him. So this is that youth scouting report prospect that we signed, Hugo Osorio. We're going to make him a defensive wide back to get that acceleration up because it's only a 61. I want him to be able to move a little bit quicker and his defending work rate up to high. Once that's done, then I'm going to move him to an attacking wide back just to get that speed up and his passing. I think he's going to be a good little player. So we do bring Osorio in. He's going to be a squad player immediately, and he takes Coffee's spot on the bench. Coffee is a good player, but I want Osorio to develop. He's five years younger than Coffee, so that's five extra seasons of development, and they're the same rating. It makes sense to just bring him up. Unfortunately, the United States scouting report had nothing of value on it, but check this out, guys. We currently sit top of the league. We've been on a tear. We've won, like I said, I think five in a row, and we are looking really good. Let's see who we're going to take up next. Well, guys, Newport County are third in the league, and they're the game today, so we're going to dive into that one. This is the team we're going with. We have Smith in goal. He's already up to a 62. We have Osorio, that left back in at left back. He's a 57 overall, but again, he's five years younger than our starting left back, Rice. So I'm going to bring him on, start developing him. Chapman and Poole are the center back partnership. Curry is on the right back position. Bernard and Robson are in the center of the park. Schaefer is on the left wing. Larson is taking Dobson's spot in center attack in mid. Once again, ready to develop the young guys. Matheson is on the right, and Frost is up top as our striker now i'm putting all these young guys in it could bite us in the butt if it does i'll switch back but i want to i feel good maybe i'm maybe my ego is getting too big after those five wins in a row but i think we're going to be okay let's dive into this game and check it out against third in the league newport county debut of hugo osorio let's see what he can give us and we are in the match we've been playing really really well our defense can definitely look suspect at times, but overall, our play has been so good. I also switched the auto switch on um, balls through the air off because I hate it. It always, I just don't like how it works. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but it's how I always used to play. Good cut out there. Get it up. And let's see if we can get something pushing. Is a bad pass by Larson out to that right wing to Curry. Matheson wins the ball, and it's a bad pass by me. Oh, Larson grabs it. All right, it's looking a little sloppy. Let's try and tidy up a little bit. <clears throat> Get our first, our second win on <clears throat> television. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I have a little bit of a cough, and it's killing me. Bernard with the shot almost slots it into the top corner. Let's whip this cross in. Nah. We have Larson. He's left-footed. Let's give it a go. Uh, uh, man. Okay. We're going up to Larson here. He's going to cut back. Oh, he should have just kept going. I should have passed that too. Bad play by me, but we're looking good. Looking dangerous already to start the game out. They're hitting us on this counter immediately after that attack. And they drop it back. 
Praise the Lord. Osario, our debutant. <clears throat> Give him the ball. Let's get it up there. Perfect. Now, I will say one thing I'm noticing already is that Dobson sits in a little bit lower than... Or, Dobson stays a little bit farther forward than um, Larson at center tag and mid, which helps a little bit. The way... The position Larson takes up on the attack when we're building up out of the back is a little deep. I just got to get used to it. I, I do think I like Dobson's way and style better. But, again, I want to develop the young guys, so we're going to keep it like this. And if it really does start to hamper us, then we are going to... Great save. Then we are going to switch it back. But great save. They were in on goal. Our goalkeeper has been coming up so big in these last couple matches. He really is outstanding. Oh, my gosh. But really excited we got the goalkeeper. Smith is a beast of a goalkeeper. All right, we have the ball here. Let's see if we can get something happening. Oh, Larson almost slots it into the top corner. Let's whip another cross in with Larson taking it. No one's there. We have Poole, our center back, so let's get the ball out of his feet. Mathis in here. Passes to Schaefer, and I give it away. Bad pass. We're pushing back here. They're coming down our wing, and we recover. Oh, but I pass it to him, as you guys have seen me do a thousand times, and I will continue to do. Because only the best players pass it to the other team. It just makes it even, you know? Like, if I don't give them the ball, then it's just too easy. <laughs> okay. Wow. Please, Matheson, run with the ball, my friend. Oh, my lordy. All right. Let's play some soccer. Some football. Uh, oh, I had the pass, and I didn't get it off. I was focused on the dribbling. I did well, and I couldn't finish the attack and move. That is halftime. 0-0, zero, zero, another close one again. But like the last game you guys saw, we didn't pull anything out of it until the second half. So hopefully we can get in there, break them down. Again, we're using some worse players. Our left back and our center attack in mid. We may bring Dobson on, but let's dive in and see if we can get a uh, result without them. And the second half is underway. I just... I don't know. Ah, uh, Matheson. Matheson, Matheson, Matheson. They're looking dangerous here. They're passing it around pretty nicely. That was a terrible pass. That's a goal. Oh, my Lord. That was all my fault. That pass right there. I just get... They pressure me when they lose possession and I get overwhelmed <laughs> dang it all right well I guess it wouldn't really be a series if we just went on and won the rest of the um, games of the season so hopefully we can bring one back here but this is pretty realistic I guess it's a great ball I need Larson to make a run his attacking work rate is low Man, we're just trying to work it around, find an opening. Nothing. Man, we're broken down again. I don't... Man, I I just... I get stuck. Maybe it's the possession um, play style in those situations that's letting me down. I'm not sure, but... I feel like our best attacking ump comes from the wing play. When we get down the wing and we can get a cutback is our best attack. So let's see if we can get it right here. But that is by far our best play. It is offsides. Man. So we are bringing Sullivan, Dobson, and Mercer on. Sullivan on the right wing for Matheson. Dobson comes in for Larson at center attacking mid. And center mid is Mercer taking Bernard's spot. I really want to get a result here. We really need to try and get at least a drawback. 
that would be the much the best scenario. Ah, oh, Dobson. He already feels a little bit better though than Larson, which stinks. We outpossessed him. Good toe. That was a bad pass. We have Schaefer win it back. He's going back post for Dobson. That's not at all where I thought that would end up, but that's where it ended up. We get the ball back. We're going to try and do something here. Don't get anything done there. We're getting down to the end of the game, and we really are going to only have about one chance left. We have to win the ball back, but they're about to score again, aren't they? Ah... Uh... Good play. Man. This will be interesting to see what it does at the top of the league. We may fall out of first spot. Ah, oh, man. They just outplayed me today. Maybe bringing in all the youngsters so early was a bad play, but I really want them to start getting better to help us out. I, I honestly think we might just stick with it and get used to playing with them and try and adapt so that they can develop. But 2-0, Newport County wins. Ah, can't win them all. I'm bummed, but we've established ourselves well for the first part of the season to be up at the top of the table. Just need to try and ride that momentum and keep that up. I will be back for the next scouting intake. We are back, and we have youth intakes, and it looks like I won manager of the month. We are delighted to inform you that E4 United's excellence perfor excellent performances recently mean you've won the Manager of the Month award. First one of those in the bag. That's been huge. Let me show you what we've done while I was gone. So you guys saw the 2-0 home defeat against Newport uh, County. We then went and beat Carlisle 4-3 in the cup. It was a wild game back and forth, but we pulled it out in the end. Harrogate, we drew 1-1. I think they were 4th or 5th at the time, and it was a hard-fought hard point. Forest Green, a rival, we went and we won 3-2. to two. I will show you guys the next game against them for our derby, um, but I didn't want to show you them because we had just done Newport County. But we beat them, so that was big. First one, first uh, game against them that we have been in charge of, and we've won, so we're 1-0 against our rivals. Barrow, we went and we beat 2-0, to zero. really easy. The fun thing about this difficulty, legendary with competitor mode off, is... I felt in control that game, but it wasn't an absurd scoreline. It was only 2-0, to and they had some chances, so I still had to work for it. Same with the next game, Crawley. We beat them 1-0. They're currently fourth in the league. They're chasing us, and we beat them to put a bigger gap between us, which was huge. We then went and played Colchester, and we won 2-0 to there. Currently, I think, sitting in 19th, not doing too well. But let's get in to the scouting reports. 100 gram is only worth $325,000, but he's 5'11", and it looks like he's pretty fast, and he might be a winger, so we're going to sign him up and see what he has to offer. Unfortunately, we only got 100 gram in. That's why it's so important to get as many scouts as possible, because we're pretty much getting one youth signing each report, which is not very good for us, considering we're trying to build an entire team around them. So, he's a striker, it says. I don't know if I agree. He's fast, but he might be moved out to the wing because he has five-star skill moves. I'm going to pull him up, and we're going to look at where his overall goes up the most. So he goes up to a six over, or plus six at center attack and mid, which would make him a 57. He goes up to plus seven on the right wing, which would make him a 58. Now, my thinking is that I'm going to make him a center attacking mid, simply because the only two we have are Dobson and Larson. So, if we get him in, then we can move Larson to starting, and Graham can be the backup to Larson, and we can start to move Dobson out of the starting lineup and start developing these young guys. So, we're going to go for it, and hopefully we'll get to see how he progresses, and it will help us get a step closer to the Champions League. Moving Hunter Graham to a center attacking mid is going to take us 20 weeks, it says. He's going to be playing, so hopefully that will speed up a little bit, but he's a 51 overall. I think he's going to go up to about a 57. Now... Changing him to a center attacking mid is going to get his attacking work rate up, which is huge because he only has a low attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate. So I want to get it up so he fights to get into the play more. 
He has five star skill moves, which is going to be huge. And his dribbling is great. His passing is pretty good. And his shooting is not the best. That's what makes me think he is a center attacking mid because his dribbling and passing are so good. And his pace is pretty good. I think he's going to be really dominant in that center attacking mid position. So hopefully we can develop either him or Larson or both. But let's get it rolling and see how he progresses. So this is what the upcoming month looks like. We have a home cup game against Exeter City. Then we're at home in the cup to Hartlepool. Then we have a league game against Salford, who I think are in second right now. Then a away game against Mansfield, home game against Leighton Orient, and a home game against Bristol City. So we will get into that when I see you guys next. I'm really excited to keep diving in with this team and developing these players. Hopefully on the next uh, scouting report, we will have a little bit more than we got on this past one. But we move and we will keep rolling until we get this thing up and running which I already feel like it's pretty much there. Our def defending has been a lot better. Y'all have seen it. Um, our attacking looks pretty good. Sometimes I get stuck in the attack, but overall it looks a lot better. We're winning the games off camera, and it's been a good start to the season. So hopefully we can continue that when we come back. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.